Book 2, Unit 5, Giving Directions Unit 5, Giving Directions Unit Objectives Students will be able to Write in instructions for the pictures to give directions Build sentences to give directions using instructional words Give directions using a map Write guided paragraphs using a map Use capital letters and punctuation marks correctly. Correct the written work. Spell correctly, especially words ending in I-G-H-T or I-G-H-T-S, etc. Giving directions. We use instructional words to give directions such as turn left. In this picture we see this is a junction and you are directed to turn left. Go straight along the street. And this picture shows that you should go straight. Take the second turning on the right. It shows here you are coming from this way and you have to take the second turning on your right. Turn right. At the junction you are directed to take the right turning. Giving directions. We use instructional words to give directions such as go past the. In this picture you can find there is a building or something here but you have to go past this building. You should not stop at the building. You have to go past the building. That means you drive more and go ahead of the building go a straight across. In this picture it shows this is a junction and you are coming from this way but you should not take any right or left turn just go across the junction. Take the third turning on the left. You are coming from this way and you are directed not to take the turning here not here. The first one, the second one, no. The third one you should take the turning on your left. Keep a straight on. There are many roads on your right and left. You don't have to take any turning on the right or on the left. You have to just keep straight on. Building sentences to give directions. To give directions we usually begin a sentence with a verb. Verbs such as come, go, keep, take, and turn. We are using these verbs for giving directions. This structure will show you how to write directions. Sentence number A. In this picture we see take the first left turning. You are coming from this way so take the first left turning where? Near the gas station. This is the gas station. So you are going to Take the left turn near the gas, gas station. Sentence number B. Go along straight this street. It says that this is a street and you need not to stop anywhere. Take the left turn or right turn. Just go straight along this street. Take the second turning on the right. So if you are coming this way, take the second turning on your right. Not the first one the second one on your right. We have to be careful that every time we have used the verbs like this take, go, take. Verbs like go, come, keep, take and turn. We usually use them for giving directions. Building sentences to give directions using until. The parts of the sentence with until have verbs but they, they are not sentences. They are called clauses. Here is a structure. Here is a structure and it shows that start with the verb and then explain where and how long. So to explain how long we use until and after until we have to use another sentence but it actually this is not a sentence. It is a clause. As in number A you can see Go along Fahad, King Fahad Road until you come to the gas station. So it, the second part 
starts with until. It has a subject and a verb, but again we cannot call it a sentence. It is a clause. We have joined these two sentences using until in the middle. Go along King Fahad Street or Road until you come to the gas station. In this picture it explains that you have to drive until the gas station. Number B. Go straight on until you come to a roundabout. You are coming from this way. So how long you should drive? It says until you come to a roundabout. So this, these are two sentences joined by until. But here we are giving instructions using until. We are not joining. We are giving instruction using until.